So, Brent, I just get I get a call from my buddy Rick. He's you guys have met Rick once before. He was on morning, Rick. Hi, YouTube. <laughs> That's my buddy. So he, he uh, you got a hold of me yesterday morning or today or something and said there, this morning he asked if I was going to be around. Where's Buck and Billy Ray going to be on the 27th of December? Probably right in his shop. So anyways, friends, he shows up and he's got like some presents for me, eh? Look what he's got. And he says it runs. Look at this thing. It's a Super XL 922. And a buddy, another buddy, I forget your name right now, I think it's Tony or somebody, he's sending one out like this, or he's been thinking about it, but this is a beautiful home light power saw. He says it runs, but the fuel line's gone, hey Rick? The fuel line's gone in it, so we'll fish that out of there, but what a treat. So he's also got this thing, and I thought to myself, let's, let's open this up. Let's open this up. So I thought I'd bring you guys along. Let's see. What are we got? What's Rick done? Oh, he's got her packed up in a lucky basket here. Oh, you got some accents in here. <laughs> you crazy guy. Friends, this is gonna be fun. What's he done? So this is our our, our famous lucky beer here. <laughs> Rick. Rick's running grapple yard. Is that right? No, you're yeah, hook tendon. Hook tendon. Hook tendon. Yeah. Rick's hook tendon up Jarvis Inlet, which is probably, uh, well, it's, it's a little ways away. It's a camp job. Look at this. Made in Sweden. Oh, ho, ho, Rick. Are you sure, bud? Friends, look at this. Double bit made in Sweden. I'm just working on Weston's right now. Weston, I'm working on your axe. Okay, friends, you, you need to see this. Okay, see the cracks? Me, be, means nothing to me. It does not matter to me at all, because I'll show you what I do. Look at this. Wait, wait till you see this. <laughs> Look at it, friends. Look what it's doing. Yeah. What have you gone and done? How's that? Is, is her name Cheryl? Sheila. Sheila. Yeah. yeah. So did you hear about the logger sports coming up? This They're going to hit it real hard in Ladysmith this summer. Oh yeah? Real hard. Really? Better... It's going to be a show. Oh, it's going to be. Not just an exhibition. It's oh, going to be a show. Okay. Oh, I'll, to, I'll probably be there if I'm not working. Yeah, it's going to be a good one. Good. This yeah, handle looks it. nice. Yeah, you could definitely save that handle. Oh, could I? Yeah. Oh, great. Friends, Rick says we got an old resurrection handle here. Oh, yeah, it feels good. But I don't think we're saving this one, Rick. <laughs> no. Man, oh, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, that looks like a Japanese head. A deer head. It is. That's a baby deer head. I can tell by the shape of it. There used to be a little deer insignia right there. <laughs> that's actually a nice little banger for somebody. Yeah. That's a great little head, friends. Cool. Oh, looky here now. Another little banger. Very nice. Sandvik. Yeah. Cool. That one I found out in the bush in Jarvis Inlet sitting on a stump. These, did you really? Yeah. Well, these were popular. Yeah. That's Swedish, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I used to use Sandvik files for my chainsaw. Yep, yeah. that's right. Sandvik's been, been, been around for years. So there's a nice little Sandvik. That's a nice little boy's axe even for some little fella. Now, here, let's put this up a little bit here. There we go. Put a little bit more height on that. So yeah, that's cool. Son of a, wow. That axe of uh, Weston, your axe is sharp. Here, let's put this like this. That's what we'll do. There, I like that. What else did you, oh, no way. That little cruiser. Wow. Friends, look at this. Now that looks Swedish as well, or German. 
Yeah, I can't tell. A little blue paint on it. Yeah, which can go either way, German yeah. or Swedish. Yeah. Very nice, a little cruiser, friends. Deadly little cruiser in excellent shape. Rick, these are nice, bud. Thanks, buddy. Oh, it looks like there's an old, uh, uh, look at that. Wow. Puget Sound. Yeah. See, these are the ones I fix them, those, those uh, edges up with. Yeah. If I decide to with this one, this one's almost like the, like a, a wall hanger. Look at that, friends. That almost looks like a Walters or something. There's a nice old Puget, friends. Beauty, beauty. Oh, this is just incredible timing. Now look at this here. Last but not least. Oh! What the oh, hell? Man. What? Deluxe. Yeah, I couldn't find anything about that. I don't know what... what Interesting. Else. Well, be, by the looks of the numbers... <clears throat> and the um, the handle's not bad, right? Yeah. The handle's not bad at all. <laughs> now, it looks to me there was another little insignia in the middle there. Yeah. Unless that was a pin. I wonder if that's a pin. No. Very interesting. You must have a ton of axe heads, eh? Yeah, I got them. Yeah, I do. Most of them are on handles now. Oh, yeah, you got them handled. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, friends, this is actually a nice axe. Very nice axe. Buddy, thanks so much. Yeah, no problem. What a treat. Oh yeah, a little hook in that one. Isn't that gorgeous? Wow, buddy. Wow. Mr. Blanchard, I found what I was looking for, Mr. Blanchard. I'm checking to make sure we are down. Everything is looking very good. We are doing this now, Mr. Blanchard, and I hold the ax head down as I go. Because as you bang, you're banging the wood. The axe can come up. You understand? It can. So you either hold the axe head down, handle down, or both, head and handle. I do both. We are doing very good. We are doing very, very good. Yes, it is coming out already. <laughs> I like it. I very much like it. Yes. Now that we are down, you can see as yes, we are down, we can hold the handle now and give it extra poundings. Put it in the middle of there. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight, nine and ten. Oh, this is very good. Very, very good. We are done, friends. You can see, we are down. We are down most of the way. I think it bottomed out, actually, to be honest with you. Yes, I think so. Good, very good. I have good feelings. Friends, what a guy. Ricky, you're not big on the camera. Um. Weston, your axe is sharp, really sharp. I think I might wrap it up when I'm working on it. <laughs> it's sharp. Yeah. Hey, you guys, come on. Rick, what a guy. You know, friends, it, I never, I, I, I've never would have expected any of this to, to be happening in my life, okay? We're going into another year now. The channel's changed. We've grown. Uh, we got hard hats on our lights in here now. We, we're into some home lights. <laughs> I mean, this is, oh, friends, I just, I don't know, I don't know. But he says the saw runs. So who am I to not believe him? And it was a gift. He gave me this thing. I can't believe it. It's going to clean up nice too, friends. It's going to clean up real nice. Oh, yeah. But I'm excited to see it run. So we're probably going to have to... Uh, look at that, eh? Oh, yeah. I can hear the oiler plunging. Good. Well, I think I'm going to have to get a fuel line in it somehow. I don't know how, but I've never really... Oh, yeah. Well, that's interesting. 
Okay. Well, I think I had to pull the carb off too. What a guy. Hey friends, let's give Rick a big toot on the channel, eh friends? That's pretty cool. Five or six axe heads and an old home light. Hey, for Christmas present for Bucket? Awesome. Thanks, Rick. We love you, buddy. Over and out. All right, that's got it. There we go. So, friends, Rick brings by. This is the cool thing about home light, friends. How's everybody doing today? Hey? Hey, is everybody good? How was the Christmas? Let's just give this a wipe here. Going into a new year. Um, how was it, friends? Was your Christmas good? Hey, was it? I hope it was. I hope everybody was good and everybody's families are good and the health is there for everybody. So, hey, I'm replacing the fuel line on this old home light. What I really like about home lights, friends, is this style of saw. Anyway, th this is an interesting saw. It's grungy and dirty. We've got to clean it up. And we'll do so. Um, this is really cool. I'm just going to get the uh, get the air to it here. It's really grungy. I'll just show you in here. You, you can see we, we, we got this to deal with. But the fuel line, it was rotted right off. There we go. There it is there. You see, it's just held on by this little tab here. Actually, let's get that out of there right now. And put that down there with the screw. I got it to look at it. But I'm going to give this a little clean. This goes into the tank, friends. You see? It'll probably be right... Anyways, it'll be right there. So, um, we're just getting the old rubber off it. See it there? There it is there. And then there'll be a little bit down in there and it just comes through into the air box right here. So we're going to place the fuel line on it. We may get lucky, but I think the carbs pooch too. So I'd be silly to, th but it's hard to say it, it, it is. It's hard to say it might work. I'm going to take a look and see if the carb looks clean. I'll check the diaphragm, see if the diaphragm's hard or not. If it's not, if it's soft and it's clean in there, I'm going to put it back together and fire it. <laughs> Let's clean it up. Okay, friends, we got lucky here, okay? This this actually goes through here, so so this is good. So my only spot is right there. You see you see how, right, see right there? I might be able to make this work. I might be able to. I don't want to start hogging anything out, you know, but I could literally make that hole a little teeny bit smaller. See, in the air box right here, I, I literally could. Or what I could do is shave the line down just a little bit and poke it through because it's got to come through here friends you see it's got to come through here and then and then kick in over here so we might get this with it okay friends we're making this work um it was a tight fit i had to this is what i got i got that there there, there was an old grommet that was in there that that's worn out you see it there but i got that line in there and it it actually fills in the hole quite quite nicely right there actually to be honest with you see it right there it's just in you see like it, it's it's in there tight i mean yeah i guess probably a little bit of gas could squeak by there i'll have to see if i can find the uh the part for that it was worn right out sorry friends right there so uh you know rarely is the gas way up way up way up there you know i can fix that i want to see if i can get it running first that's an easy fix. You pop the freaking side cover off and you're at it. It's right there. It's so simple, which is really cool. So I got it to come through. This line was tight, but what I did is I took it over to this little sander, believe it or not, and I actually kind of like tapered the end of the hose so I could get it started and pull it through. I got it to go. I got it to go, friends. You're darn tootin' I got it to go. I'm a tenacious man. So, so it's in there. My only concern now is, friends, because we're ready to go to carb now, is 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 the fact that we might have diaphragm issue so i'm gonna check that out right now so i'm just gonna pop these screws out you know the drill i don't have to tell you this story uh i'm gonna pop this this diaphragm out of here and and take a peek let's have a look shall we let's do it you guys may as well watch let's put you guys here so you can see what's going on down here in a long long time it's going to be on there but these guys are smart they got a little spot you can flick up right here like this you see so oh watch your sails now oh dear there we go that thing is solid as a rock i can tell i heard it didn't you yes you did and i heard it too let's take a look oh yeah this carburetor's got problems
Okay, friends, we're uh, we're looking pretty good. I, I might have snipped that line just a little bit hasty there. I may have to just pull this a bit here, you know. I might just have to slide this down just a little bit so it sits down. I actually think I'm fine because I'm over the lip. I actually think I'm good. I just got to tighten the carb up. These are a little bugger to get at, to be honest with you. I don't know what's going to happen. We're going to find out. Yeah, it's hard to say. It's hard to say with that thing. We'll see. Okay, in a minute. She's all back together with a fuel line in her, friends. We're going to give it a shot. <laughs> yes, sir, indeed. We're going to try it. Little carburetor in there. Plug on the wire. Turn her on. Let's see what happens. She's running good, but it's it's leaking gas. Donnie Donnie Walker will be able to tell me what that is. spitting oil oh, oh gosh darn it over now hi boys how we doing what are you doing boys <laughs> oh yeah i bet that that's right isn't it friends rick perry hey bud i got her going she's got a carb issue no problem no 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 troubles i it does have a carb issue i i, I took the it's tilting and i took the top off it really easy to get at Took the top off and dropped a couple new little parts in there and that and it didn't really it, it didn't run good so I put another one in there and it ran totally different but it wasn't leaking up through that hole in the top of the carburetor you know the one I'm talking about right yeah so anyway here it is friends Rick gave me this power saw today I love this freaking thing I love it it's a 922 super 922 it's just dandy I'm gonna give it a shot right here right now I, I need a choke now. That's that's pretty cool friends. I, I didn't really have any idea that that's you guys are so supportive That's so cool. So what it was is as is, is you guys you've heard of me talk of bear claw my old fallen partner and my mentor He was my mentor and um, I've got some of his axes from the past He's given me and whenever he gives me something I kind of cherish it It's kind of like that one of those things, you know from your 
from your 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 mentor and 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 uh, I mean I, I don't hold people on pedestals but 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 I do give respect where it's due and and this this man has my respect and not a lot of people have my respect um, and I don't mean to be negative it's just I, I'm not easily pleased <laughs> do you know I, I I think the human being is capable of many many things and I believe we are capable of goodness and kindness and giving and not taking and not being all the other stuff that's not love you know stuff that comes from fear we have both we have both but to grab first at love is it is a journey that that you know some people were born into it and some people weren't so uh, but what man, one man can do another man can do and I believe we can all be kind I believe we can. I know we can, as a matter of fact. I do. So, this is Bear Claw's axe. These GBA axes, this is a Grand Force three and three quarter pounder. It's a big head, friends. And it's a chopping axe, eh? It's a chopping axe. But check it out. Anyhow, good steel. Oh, if you've never smelt the fur pitch. Oh, I wish I tell you I could bottle that. Oh. Lovely. <laughs>